Hi guys, welcome to uh, Yael. Uh, we start with uh, an instruction screen of the Xbox controller, which you see you can uh, zoom, walk around and uh, interact with the environment. These are the instructions for the Windows Phone 7, where we have to put our finger on the screen and uh, drag to move our character. Um, by the way, this demo is actually the Windows or Xbox version of the game um, because we had some troubles grabbing the emulator. Um, but the only difference is that the, the there's a thumbstick appearing when you put your finger on the screen uh, on the phone side. Our, uh, our story situates in uh, the city of Egalopolis, a typical big city with, uh, with urban and suburban parts, people and places. And um, our main character, Yal, a uh, little girl, she lives with, a, with her uh, uncle alone and they sleep in the same room which, which also serves as the living room. So uh, they don't have much, um, but although they don't they they are relatively happy. So whatever happens, Yael rarely lets her head hang down. Um, but one day, um, Yael gets out of bed, bed and here's her sick uncle, um, and he says he needs some medicine for the uh, from the pharmacist. So you go out to get some for him. So here we start our first level, simple city. Yael, our main character, not yet animated. You see some guy standing, <laughs> watching the environment. And uh, yeah, we were trying to find the pharmacist. We see some buildings, some rocks. Here there, uh, there's this typical building with a cross, which is, of course, the pharmacist. And uh, we see that if we, if we uh, close, if we approach the, the pharmacist, the, an icon appears with the cross again. Um, to show that this is indeed a pharmacist and uh, there's an extra I icon the little a that uh, that only appears uh, if you're playing with an Xbox controller as we are doing now um, that means you can interact with this object by pressing a so here we see Al buying the medicine for her uncle little cutscene uh, so now we just have to get back to our uncle to, to give him the medicine Really simple task indeed, it wasn't that far, so we should be home. But, um, oh, there's uh, this guy, he had turned around and, and he's got some grid, some kind of view cone, so let's just pause there. We see again, there's a, there's an icon appearing, uh, this time a different icon. Um, and we see that we can press A to interact uh, with the guy. So uh, if we do that, you actually see that the guy is a is a servant of fate, uh, who who follows the rules of the book of fate, which which actually is some kind of religion regimen that rules in the in the city of Egalopolis, and um, he's notifying you that you have actually trespassed the law uh, of the book of fate, which says that no women or no woman shall walk unsupervised on the street or anywhere uh, without a man and um, yeah he, he, he tells you to go home or to, to get lost or you will get arrested so now um, we get re respawn at the pharmacist because we have to do it again uh, this was just for illustrating the rule but uh, as we see the guard is now watching around and uh, we can solve this little puzzle by Zooming out, there's this cool zooming out function built in in the, the game, which you see your, your environment. But of course you have to avoid the grid, and if you enter the grid, you get caught again. You can press A, you get notified of the rule that you uh, trespassed. So now we're going to try it again, and I'm sure we're going to succeed. Voila, past the grid. We're back home again, luckily. Passed the medicine to her uncle, but um, that evening, Yael, you know, she has a bit trouble of sleeping because she has discovered the ugly truth that women aren't actually allowed to walk freely. Um, 
she didn't know that before because she went out with her uncle all the time. But uh, of course, that didn't spoil her excitement for, for the next day because school was about to start and she was eager to go. So uh, our second mission starts and we have to go to school now. You know, to get educated. Uh, and immediately we see that a, a little part of the city has opened up and um, there's some, uh, so here, here are the, yeah, that's the way to the pharmacy, but let's take another way. And we see that there are some guards and we have to watch out not to, to enter their, uh, their grid. And we see another guard at the bottom who's uh, following some kind of path, a routine. So that is uh, immediately our first puzzle. Uh, and we're going to try to sneak by. And we see that there's uh, this vase standing in the middle. Oh, no. Just get caught. Oh, we got caught. Stupid. <laughs> Let's try it again. Now this time, you know, because we realize that it's difficult to just pause the guard by walking by, um, we see that there's a, a vase standing, or there are vases standing all around the level, and if you if you approach the vase, you can enter it. There's again this icon, and if you press A on your controller, you can enter it. You disappear. And that's how you can uh, pass the guard. So now we can go left or right, but ooh, left, there's a guard coming. Just watch out. I'll just go right for now because the uh, left looks a bit dangerous. Um, yeah, we enter this little square with a, with a well, and at the bottom we can't get through. But uh, where would the school be, you know? Um, looking for a big building, and oh, this looks like like some kind of big building and there's a there's somebody standing in the gate let's approach it oh an icon appears we can uh, go talk to him if we press a this guy actually um, turns out to be the teacher the teacher of the school and uh, but he again uh, also opens up the book of faith um, which shows you a new rule that says that no women shall be educated so as a girl you can't get educated which which is terrible and um, immediately he, he uh, points Yael on the fact that also she shouldn't be walking around on the street alone so um, he takes her back home and um, it's very sad actually it's very sad you see because you know she's she's so limited in her freedom she can't uh, she can't go to school she can't walk around and, you know, it's just too much for her. It's the last straw for Yael. And she decides to do something to it. So she just cuts her hair. And um, she takes a scarf. She takes a hat from her uncle. And she disguises herself as a boy. You know, just to be, to be able to be free. To be able to walk around and do whatever she wants to do. And uh, this, uh, my friends, is the, the end of the demo of Yael and uh, the start of, of the big adventure as you cruise the city uh, as you and enter several exciting puzzles. Thank you.